Okay, in this video we're going to discuss for you the options you have in testing for legal highs and the drug test kits that are available currently that enable you to do so. The term legal highs is bounded about very frequently in the press and it basically covers a whole range of drugs that are being sold and taken for their psychoactive effects. It doesn't encompass a single drug group or a single drug test and a lot of the products are products that are being used for uh, other legitimate reasons and have not really been recognised as drugs of abuse by either the manufacturers of drug screens or the government. Now they're obviously moving uh, retrospectively to ban these products because they have harmful effects and deleterious side effects and the legislation in the UK is currently moving towards uh, blanket bans covering the psychotropic effects rather than the specific drug compound or element because they can't continue to play check up or chase up basically for the different chemical constitutions as soon as they make one specific compound illegal it's slightly modified by the uh, producers and suppliers so that the compound that uh, replaces it doesn't cover that. Now in the UK currently about the only test that you can uh, buy to screen for these uh, legal highs is a K2K3 drug screen which screens for uh, spice mix which is synthetic cannabis. Now this just as I say covers one element of what are termed legal highs. Synthetic cannabis is usually uh, added to a inert carrying medium such as uh, a dried herb or vegetable product to make it suitable for smoking but it can be added to other compounds uh, either as powders or tablets for direct consumption but the most common presentation is in a sort of powdered or crumbly herb like or spice like mixture which is added or smoked directly in with uh, tobacco. So we're going to show you this test here this is the core diagnostics test this is a K2K3 it will uh, detect both variants of the spice mix and this comes in a simple strip format if I show you that. Uh, it's a standardized strip, uh, five mil strip with a dip end indicated by the wavy lines. Uh, coding on the end indicates the drug group that you're screening for and a central flat area where you get your test result. Very easy to perform urine tests. Basically just taken and dipped into a urine sample for between three and five seconds and that's what I'm doing now off camera. And if I just bring that into the frame You'll see that in the central section of the uh, drug strip you've got your pinkish dye travelling from the dip end towards the handle end where I'm holding it. And it's in this area that your control and test lines form. Very easy to interpret the results of these. You've got a control line that forms nearest the handle end and the test line that forms nearest the dip end. And this is a negative binding technology uh, test so if there's drug in the sample that you're screening at or above the cutoff test parameter it will completely saturate the test line which will fail to absorb any of the dye and not form. But what you can see in this test is that uh, a very clear test line is forming and a much fainter and later control line is forming. And if we were to leave this test for the full 5 to 10 minutes you would see that the pink dye will completely clear the background leaving two nice crisp lines, one control and one test indicating a negative test result and that the sample I've used for this test uh, example does not contain any synthetic cannabis. Now this is quite a, a good addition to add in if you are doing cannabis screening to also screen for uh, synthetic cannabis. Obviously use of synthetic cannabis may not currently be illegal, it depends when you're watching this video in terms of the legislation that's currently in operation. But by screening for both you are going to detect illicit drug misuse of some nature. So here we go, I think you can see now, I don't know whether I'll be able to bring that to camera, whether it will focus or not. Let's just see if I can get a focus on the actual result for you. There you go, two lines, negative test result. So that's simple screening for synthetic cannabis in terms of a current legal high that's being sold and uh, used extensively in the UK. Very easy and simple test to perform. Accuracy is in the order of 99% on this test membrane in terms of its specificity, accuracy and overall sensitivity. It's extremely high compared to a laboratory test and you can buy these for a couple of pounds.